Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If it don't fit, don't make it. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, please see the box below. Let's get into this is going to be a new spread for me so I'm you know bear with me um, this is going to be who are they kind of what they want energy but um, it's going to be mostly their energy and then what you need to know about it okay where they're sitting right now is the two of swords and I feel like it's because you walked away for their foolish from from their foolishness I, I and I do feel like that's a brand new beginning for you even if you don't see it right now but this is where they are sitting it's like they can't believe that something didn't work here what is their challenge spirit <laughs> isn't it always the truth about the queen of cups Lovers and the Seven of Pentacles. The truth about who they love. They're not... Th this person is really confused, Pisces... Or Scorpio, sorry. Pisces is a, usually by the Queen of Cups. That's why, why I said that. Um, so... I feel like this person can't see the truth. They're they're too busy, and I, and I gotta put them in fight or flight mode because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody who's in fight or flight mode, doesn't know where they're going, don't know what they're doing, and they are their challenge here is to see the truth about the Queen of Cups, the lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, what they want and who they want to grow with. What is it they're focusing on, Scorpio? What is it they're focusing on? The Eight of Wands. Communication. This person could be at a distance from you. They're focusing on the communication with you. Maybe uh, thinking that you're not going to talk to them. The past, yeah. There's pain here. Nine of Wands. So in their past, they got the download here, Scorpio. They got the download. They know what they're supposed to be doing. Even though their life has taken a turn, maybe as agents of the Matrix, so to speak, uh, they're losing a lot of they're they're not focused they're, they're totally not focused where they should be she could be home family what are their strengths spirit what are their strengths <coughs> The strength is, is that they kind of want justice, justice as they see it and the wheel of fortune <laughs> no matter how long they have to wait. So patience is their strength. It's yours too. What is in the near future? What is in the near future? Yeah, that's a little too much. Give me just one. What is in the near future, Spirit, for this 
situation. Eight of cups in that ass. I feel like you, you got the downloads here too, Scorpio. And it's over. What is their likely approach to this? What is their likely approach to this? They're going to do what they can to try to hold you up to keep you from moving on. But you got protection here. They don't want you to move on, Scorpio. But this is the likely approach they're going to take is to try to spy on you and figure out a way to stop you. Do not allow this person to keep you in suspended animation. That's the word I'm looking for. That's what they're trying to do here. Just to keep you stuck, to keep you suspended in time. So you can't move away from this energy. It's Sagittarius. They got Pisces. Those are the only two... I have on the board right now. What do you need to know? Knight of Cups. They have a choice here, Scorpio. They have a choice. Knight of Cups. They have a choice to make. I don't think you're giving them a choice. Or they're going to walk away from you and go to another that's easier prey. Because I feel like that's... I feel like this person is like flustered because you're not falling for their, their, uh, whatever this is, whatever they're trying to do here. You're, you're not easily fooled here. What is it they hope to accomplish with this? I knew it. I knew it. The Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So, keeping you chasing your tail while they get away with something here. To try to keep you chasing your tail. Could be a Sagittarius. And as long as they could keep you chasing your tail, you can't move forward. This is a blockage. And they're doing it on purpose. Just so you know. I don't know how this person has access, but they are doing this on purpose because of the lies that they've gotten themselves into and I do feel like this person has gotten themselves into a pickle with another person or another situation this could be even you know some kind of a, a psyop type shit excuse my language not and the final outcome is the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of... Ha ha ha. You got free. No matter what they tried to do here, Scorpio, you got free. Six 
Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. You figured it out. You're getting yourself free. And, and I do feel like this is a, like as the karmic wheel turns kind of energy. So you're, you're freeing yourself from old karmic energy that's keeping you in suspended animation by trying to keep you chasing your tail. Let's get some clarity. What is this Two of Swords as where they're sitting at right now? What are they confused about? I feel like it's love and they don't know what to do. They're they're lost, Pisces. Or Scorpio, gosh. Why do I care? you must be you might be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, so I got the four of wands and the four of cups. They turned down your cup. For an illusion. They turn down your cup for something sparkly and shiny. It's an illusion. It was a choice they made. And is it too late? Well, yeah, I do feel like it's too late. Now, you know, like like I say about Scorpio all the time, y'all don't forget nothing. You probably remember, like, shit from college or high school. You just, you just don't forget nothing. And now, they've totally screwed that up. They've told, they know what they've done here. This is justice at play. So, whoever you are, whatever you're doing here, you're getting back what you put in. And I tell that to everybody all the time. Be careful what you're putting out there. Because you're going to get it back. Energy is always returned. And now they're like scrambling going, Oh, well, I really love Scorpio. And, and and that is my truth and it's too late it's too late because you found out the truth about what this person was doing and I do feel like there's more than one especially where your work's con concerned it's like somebody, okay, so we got the Queen of Wands here. It's like somebody put a spell over your work, tried to stop you from moving forward. It's not going to stop you. You're releasing it. Six of Swords like three times. You're releasing it. And Virgo, Gemini energy. See, look. Whoever this person was, they wanted to keep you in a state of confusion so you couldn't see that Ten of Pentacles. They wanted to take it from you. Eight of Pentacles. They chose to do this. Devil energy. Liar. King of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Whoever this person was, Scorpio or is they are a lion sack of mofo and they used they used uh, they used it in a way to hurt you on purpose with the eight and nine of wands what is this eight of wands about why they focused on it oh so, yeah. So there's only one cup here. They wanted to rush you into some kind of contract with passion because they were worried about getting stuck themselves. So, 
A lot of, lot of people grasping for straws right now, Scorpio. And I'm, I'm going to tell you that the scammers are just coming right out and asking you for money. I mean, instead of going through the whole rigmarole about, uh, you know, um, I love you, I want to be with you, I want to marry you, these love scams and all this other stuff that's going on, this person's coming right out and telling you what they want. I mean, I, some of these people are coming right and, right out and saying, hey, I need a $1,000. Like, you got it like that. I mean, even if you don't have it, you do have it like that. I mean, all right, you ain't that stupid. Oh, sure. Here. Here's $1,000. I have no idea who the f*** you are, but here's $1,000. What is wrong with people? Seriously. So, this past energy, they hurt themselves. Yeah. By trying to come at you with an offer of growth when they didn't have anything to grow with. Not a fucking thing. Judgment and the magician. They didn't have it like that. But they pretended to have it like that. Nine, nine. That's a wrap. So maybe they did have it like that in the past. And then, bam, along comes karma and takes it from them. Gives, puts them in the nine of wands. So they come after you trying to get your cup, get get your blessings. Because they don't know anywhere where to turn right now. They don't have anywhere to turn right now. And... Eight of Cups in the immediate future. What is that all about? Or, I mean, that that's the near future. Oh. Okay. So, whoever they were married to, with, or whatever. Whatever the case may be. The other person won. And I feel like this person was kind of like with them, but pr pretending to be single. Didn't think they had any idea that they were out enjoying themselves pretending to be single. And now this person's got proof of some kind that they didn't see coming. And they beat them. So now this this person's paying attention to you, thinking that you you gonna save this. <laughs> Taurus. Pisces energy again. They think you're gonna save them from them own selves, from from their judgment call that they made to try to hold you up from your blessings because they were they were too busy screwing off. Yeah, the likely approach here. Is that they're going to use some kind of a, um, a belief system to try to get in your energy an apology rushing in really fast. This is somebody who may have sold you castles in the sky and now they understand that you're the only one that can help them. Whoever you are, yeah, it's too late. It's too late. Because Scorpio got a clue here. They see you. They see what you're doing. They see how you're trying to come in. And whoever you are, you should have paid attention to your downloads a long time ago. Because this apology is not going to work anymore. And I feel like it's, 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 I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm sorry I, I bullshitted you. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, you're right. You're sorry. Bye. <laughs> what you need to know is love yourself with that Knight of Cups. 
you really need to love yourself. Because like I said, this person thinks that they can keep you chasing your tail. And if you do, that is kind of up to you. I don't recommend it. Not at all. What you need to know is, yeah, this is bullshit. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. That whatever this person, this person puts you in a third party situation and then fed you a bunch of lies, a bunch of illusions, manipulated your energy. Like I said, I, I don't recommend that for anyone. Manipulate your own energy and leave mine alone. Because karma is a karma is a mofo. You will get justice for this. You may have to have strength to get through it, but you will get justice for it. That's what you need to know. It might be around December. The hope to accomplish here is to control you without your seeing it. But you see it. Sun and the moon, baby. You see it. This player energy that wants to try to control your every move. And hurt you because they're hurt. This is, this is one of those cases of hurt people hurt people. They wanted to keep it a secret. But it's, it's not working. The, the manipulation tactics are not working anymore. You see through the illusion. And they know you see through it. That's why they're like in a last ditch effort. Desperation. And they're going to have to work out whatever they got to work out with this third party that they're trying to get away from. Because this third party is taking them down. And I mean, taking them financially down, taking them down in every sort of way they can. Yeah, here's the third party taking away their status. Their Ace of Pentacles, their brand new beginning, their King of Pentacles, and their star energy, their healing. They're taking away the healing that I feel like it's them and somebody else. It could be a lawyer with the justice and the judgment coming out. It could be them and a lawyer that's taking this person do the cleaners. And I do mean everything. Everything they got. What is this three of wands is the strength here? What is this three of wands is the strength? They're trying to wait this out. Three, 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 right there in my face. They're trying to wait this out. And they think that by hurting you without you knowing it is what's going to fix it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, look. Eight of Cups, the Death Card, and the Nine of Wands. You're going to see it. You're going to see it truly. Page, the Knight, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers, Nine of Swords. Ooh, this person is stressing hard. Because you're not, you're not falling for the illusion anymore of, of they feelings. 
you know? It's like they put their feelings above yours here. What they wanted to manifest above all else, above, above whatever, you know, you may have been putting into this. They put hell a lot of other shit in it. Like I said, this third person, whoever this third person is, I feel like, whoa, they might be suing them and taking them to the cleaners. gonna have to sacrifice this use your spiritual strength to triumph and find love again and be balanced memories of love so you got one 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 right here sacrifice your solitude your spiritual strength Ride in and triumph over this energy. To take a rest, to take a break, to be able to... This is your spiritual strength here, 9-9. Nine, nine. Is to be able to rest and recuperate from whatever this is. Rejuvenate yourself. As love begins in a very balanced way. So, the love for yourself is the love you need to concentrate on right now. The love for your emotions, not for your pentacles. So whether you're rich or poor, doesn't matter. Be grateful for today with spirit. Get your, get your ducks in a row so you can find that balance that is really, really needed for a material harvest and movement choices and decisions. Base chakra. So you really you really got to get balanced and sacrifice whatever this is to get into your ace of pentacles energy because this person tried to stop you from getting it. And they did everything they could. 9993333 they did everything they could. Three, I got four threes right in my face there. To try to stop your progress, Scorpio. To try to stop your material harvest. Whatever that means to you. But I do think it's the emotional part that you have to concentrate on. Now you have to bring yourself back from that death that they caused. Which was like a forced transformation for you because you really believed in this person um, let's get ahead in realms for some advice Rainbow Prince, Perseverance, the Horse King, and the Ice Queen in reverse. Let's see what they say. Then I'm going to read all three. If you don't want to hang out, that's cool. But I usually try to give the best advice I can out of, out of this deck at the end of the reading because it, it does help explain things a little better. There's the rainbow prince. All right. So this is the ice queen as the challenger. It says, when the ice queen comes to challenge you, she asks you to look at the illusion of ownership. Do you believe you truly own anything in this world? For example, do any of us really own land? 
do we own ideas? Or is that we have simply laid claim to something we believe we are entitled to? Even inspiration is borrowed from spirit and shared by all in the field of divine consciousness that permeates everything. Others have even thought of your most ingenious ideas somewhere else in time. And so what? Loving Life incarnate is short. When you transition, you take nothing with you from the material world. The Ice Queen calls upon you to release your hold on your relationships, your belongings, your home, and all aspects of your life. Let life flow as it will. Everything, everything is impermanent. Once you recognize that, everything is seen as a living miracle that it really is, and you won't be frozen into that self-induced limitations. It's time to let go of ownership in general and be grateful and enjoy what you've got you've been gifted with. So this is telling you to let go of, of the things that are just they're just not good for you anymore. They're not good for you anymore. There's an abundance headed your way. I mean, and I feel like that would be as much emotional as it would be material. Let's see what the horse king's got to say. That's in the uh, challenge position as well. Okay, so this card says, The Horse King wants to know why you think you can do everything by yourself. Keeping control of everything around you is counterproductive and exhausting. If you insist on being stubborn, the Horse King is patient, however, and will wait for you to come to your senses and accept that you need help. Accept the help you need. You won't be able to reach your goal otherwise. Yet the Horse King says that all it takes is a decision to jump on his back, ask for help, and graciously allow yourself to be carried to your destination. Let go of control, and amazing things can happen for you. Okay. And these are the, the, the amazing... Yeah. Amazing things. <laughs> I don't edit. That can happen for you, Scorpio says, when the Rainbow Prince appears as your ally, he reminds you of the laws of compensation and the law of receiving. That is Empress Energy. After the rainstorm you've endured on your journey, the Rainbow Prince brings you a pot of gold, which is the result of your using all the elements of your inner light and teaching and, and, teaching, and reaching into the sky until you touch the material realm from one end to the other. This isn't always an easy process, and hard work must be rewarded by compensation. When you align yourself with the energy of giving the highest value, your compensation is inherent in the act itself. But the message here is more than that. The Rainbow Prince says to keep your sights on the sky after the rainstorms that may have upset your life. Follow your bliss to the pot of gold waiting for you. Perseverance pays off. And your reward will be greater than you can imagine. So whatever this energy is, is what you need to sacrifice in order to get to that pot of gold. 999. Lots of nines. So this has got to be wrapped up once and for all. Whatever this is, has got to be wrapped up and put a bow on it. And say bye bye now. And, and, and as soon as you emotionally let go of that whatever you are praying for will come towards you because there's 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 other people connected to this not just this person that you're dealing with but there's other people outside people that are connected to this whole situation and whoever those outside people are they are taking this person down all right 
So those are your messages, Scorpio. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I see you tomorrow at, well, no, today at 3 o'clock for the live stream. All right? Take care. Bye for now.